Struggling Muncie schools could get help thanks to a plan that hasn't been tried anywhere before. Our Rich and I went to Muncie to look at the growing support for higher education, helping the local schools with an elementary approach. Under the proposal, Ball State would take over Muncie Central High School and every other school in the district. Ball State quickly got behind the bill, passed out of a House committee this week. We believe the fortunes of our university are also linked to the fortunes of Muncie, and we know the future of Muncie is dependent on the future of Muncie schools. So we're all in this together, and that's why we've decided that this, that this is a responsibility we should undertake. We feel an obligation and a great opportunity. This is believed to be the first time in the country a public university would be mandated by state law to run an entire school district. The Ball State's willing to step up in a really big way and I think it could be groundbreaking uh, but our our history and our success is mutually linked. The school system in financial crisis is already being run by an emergency manager. I think it's great at this point we have been looking for any kind of resolution to this bad thing that's happened with our school system and so just knowing Ball State and their credibility with education. Teresa Long owns Grace Beauty and Barber College and is a parent of three of the 5100 students in the district. It's very important for um, both to be doing well and for a university such as Ball State I think it makes sense for them to pour into the Muncie community since they are a part of it. Ball State would appoint a new school board to take over July 1st, dissolving the current school board. As long as they focus on families and the children in this community, it's everything I can, I can accept that. Most people think Muncie schools have a sunnier future with Ball State in charge. In Muncie, I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.